What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I guess I'll just come right out and say it. Um, today has been an extremely tough day for me. Earlier this morning, some devastating news dropped that affected me in more ways than one. To the point where I felt like I couldn't sit here and make videos for you all today. Of course, the news I'm talking about is the news that Amber Heard might have to sell the Tesla that Elon Musk gifted her in order to raise money to be able to pay Johnny Depp back. And, you know, listen, I know everyone. I feel how you all feel. Can we all just take a moment of silence for Amber Heard's Tesla? Okay, yeah, okay, I think that's enough of that. <laughs> Seriously, though, guys, um, earlier today, I guess this is news. A lot of these news outlets started spinning around these headlines about Amber Heard having to sell this Tesla that Elon Musk gifted her because she's broke, she's down and out, she doesn't have the money to pay Johnny Depp. She doesn't even have the money to file this appeal. Yet somehow, when questions were asked about her paying Johnny Depp back, the answer was automatically, oh God, no, she doesn't have that money. But when asked if Amber Heard would appeal, it was, oh, of course Amber Heard is going to appeal. But correct me if I'm wrong, in order to appeal, she would still have to come up with basically a good bit of money, like the amount of money that she would have to pay Johnny Depp. Now, this latest story about her selling her Tesla, I think it's just the latest in her little sympathy tour. I told you all from day one, I'll tell you all again. As soon as this trial ended, Amber Heard was suiting up and getting ready for the sympathy tour. Of course, she did her little interview, and then we spotted her at TJ Maxx shopping around, and then she was spotted grocery shopping at the fish market. And now, of course, these stories are floating around. Who do you think started this rumor? Amber's PR team. Amber needs to come up with millions upon millions of dollars to pay Johnny Depp. Now, I'm not saying it's absolutely crazy to think that she may have to sell this car in order to raise some money. But this car is worth like what? $100,000, $130,000? She's got a long ways to go, okay? Selling this Tesla, it, it's only going to put a, it's, it's going to be a drop in the bucket of how much money she needs to fork up to pay Johnny Depp. Now, this car has been, you know, the center of attention for a few headlines at least because this is the same car that Elon Musk gifted her. The same car that Amber Heard said Elon Musk bugged in order to track her every movement and what she was saying inside the vehicle back when Amber Heard was gearing up to try to take Elon Musk down before aborting that mission. But I find it funny that they're spinning this story around as if we're like supposed to care. We don't care that you're shopping at TJ Maxx. We don't care that you have to grocery shop like everyone else. And we don't, we damn sure don't care if you might have to sell this Tesla. We know that you were staying in a mansion that cost you like, what, $30,000 a month to rent during this trial. We know you just got you a new house out in the middle of the desert with its own bridge. Like, no one feels bad for you, Amber. Please stop this. The Tesla, the TJ Maxx, it's just becoming too much. And it's becoming to the point, it's gotten to the point where it's just a meme. We're all here to laugh at you. It, you've become the butt of all jokes and it didn't have to be this way. Honestly, if Amber would have lost this trial and just lost the situation and bowed out gracefully, I wouldn't have said anything else about the situation. But it's because she is making a mockery out of herself that I continue to point it out and laugh. Why? Because it's funny. And because if Amber or Amber's followers had the opportunity to do so against Johnny, they would damn sure capitalize on it. If Amber was going about her day living her life, 
I can't speak for everyone else, but I damn sure would not be commenting on this situation anymore. But that's not the case. Amber is trying to drag down Johnny Depp still to this day. And even worse, if you ask me, is Amber, Amber's team, and the mainstream media are trying to drag down all of us. I'll be honest with you all. I started covering the story because I was interested in the story. But now it's become personal. Because now Amber and Amber's team and the mainstream media are taking direct shots at us YouTubers. They're coming after us full force. We're getting all types of crazy death threats. Threats of our channel getting demonetized and taken down. And listen, I'm a small fish in the pond of YouTube creators who they're coming after. They're going after bigger people as well. And I imagine the backlash that they're facing is 10 times worse than what I'm facing, but I'm here still to fight this battle because I am getting attacked as well. And if they're gonna come for one of us, they're gonna come for all of us. They're already literally trying to pass new laws and, and stuff to make sure that we can never cover a trial again on YouTube. They're trying to make it where to where what happened with this Johnny Depp trial can never ever happen again. What I don't think a lot of you all realize at home when you watch this videos is that there is a, a war being had right now. We are at war with the mainstream media. The mainstream media wants all of us out of the picture because most of us, and I'm not just speaking about myself, I'm speaking about everyone else as well. We've done a better job at covering this story than the mainstream media did. And it just so happens when you be honest about things and you don't try to spin lies, people watch your stuff. More people will tune into you, be honest and be non-biased towards the situation as opposed to tuning into the mainstream media lie about everything. So yeah, the situation has gotten personal. Do you think I care if Amber has to sell her Tesla? No, not one bit. She deserves it. She needs to sell the home as well. And she needs to come up with that money because Johnny's getting tired of waiting. But I want to know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all on the next video.